The weather outside is... Penny here, GhostPixATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. Sunday, December 22nd. Finally going to get a haircut today. As soon as I do this video, as a matter of fact, going to get a haircut, get all freshed up, get grooving. I got a lot of shopping done yesterday. I'm pumped up about it. I got a lot of people to buy for, baby. There were so many Christmases that were very small for me when I was younger. And, you know, you know. So I like to go hard for the family. You get what I'm saying? Benny Claus, you know? So uh, if I'm eating, I want everybody else to be eating too. And that's a fact, Jack. Today is Red Alert Sunday. Red shirt, red alert. Always nearby. I got the red shirt nearby. Red shirt, red alert. I want everybody eating. Day nine, ghost picks. 12 days of Christmas. Only a few days left for the deals, guys. These have, fall, these have all been uh, uh, super deals from short-term packages to long-term packages to now we have a consensus red alert play jack benny derek jimmy bryce we've all been hammering out work trying to come down to one play for everybody Th that gets heated you know that's five guys that's we've been working on this for a minute that's five different handicappers going at it it's like a jury room trying to figure out innocent or guilty right so we've had some very good opinion uh, options in my opinion and we came up with a play that I like and I personally co sign So if you're interested in the group Red Alert, I have it linked right here in this video. And then as always, today is Sunday Funday, $19.99. Any handicapper you choose, all plays for the day. The Red Alert is sold separately. As the day nine, 12 days of Christmas special, I have three plays in the NFL today on my day card. They start soon, so let's get to it. We got two at one o'clock. One later game, then I have one NBA, which I've been doing very well in, even despite my struggles. And let me tell you, I'll be the first to tell you that things have not been all good. I'm struggling in certain areas. There's work that needs to be done. I got to figure some things out. Uh, but the most important thing is that I remain fully honest to you guys, to the, the viewers, and my clients, right? That things have not been all good. But despite that, NBA truly has been on point and consistent as of late. We will continue to pound that one NBA play today and one college basketball play. That rounds out a five-play action-packed day starting very shortly. Yesterday, I had five plays as well. Split right down the middle, two, two, and one. Started off the day with a big loss on Kansas on the money line, and they really, really, really blew it. I'm, gonna tell, I'm telling you, man, some of these struggles I've been having, some of these losses I've been taking, absolutely awful brutal like kansas they truly gave it away yesterday two minutes left they're up four nova wastes a solid 30 seconds and then misses a shot kansas rebounds pushes the ball down for absolutely no reason nova steals it at half court makes a layoff layup lead cuts to two but we just need kansas to win the game right Kansas holds the ball till about five seconds left on the shot clock now, and they just brick an awful three-pointer. Nova comes down, and their big man drains a three to take the lead by one. Now we're losing. Kansas pushes the ball, gets fouled. We have an 80% uh, free throw shooter at the line. M misses the first shot of a one-and-one. One. Nova gets it and turns it over, so we still have a chance. But Kansas misses the game-winning layup, and we lose by one. A layup. A layup. That's how my day started yesterday. It's comical at times. Very frustrating. Next game, we push on that uh, uh, sloppy mess of a Texans-Bucks game. Sloppiness. Jameis being Jameis. He got his three interceptions out of the way nice and early, but the, you know, the Texans still couldn't do a damn thing. Texans minus three, we, we uh, pushed. So there's our push. And then next up, we took our second loss on the Patriots. Bills under. And then we finished off with two wins. Washington minus three, winner. Bucks minus 12 and a half. Winner. That was also our free play winner. Free plays have also been good, right? So we've been hitting in the NBA, which you have been, uh, which have been my free plays all week long. So which, so you're seeing it for yourself. They've <clears throat> all been plays right from the card. So NBA and free plays have been good. College basketball is madness. NFL up and down. Streaks of good, streaks of bad, right? One thing is for sure. Two things is for certain. We ain't stopping. So let's pound it with this red alert. Red shirt, red alert. Let's pound it on Sunday fun day and put money in our pocket. Red alert is listed. Head honcho Jimmy, ready to rock. Derek Dimes, Derek D -D 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 Dimes, ready to rock. Big Poppy Jack, Big Poppy Jack the Reaper, 
ready to rock. No, no, notorious. We are. No, no, notorious is ready to rock. Bryce with the man beard. He's ready to rock as well. And the Big Ben dog baby, like it or love it. Red shirt, red alert, ready to rock. Ghost Picks is ready to rock. So we have red alert. Let's go. Free play of the day right now. Late game, primetime NFL, Chiefs at Bears. Bears are a home dog tonight. But I'm going to lay the points with Kansas City on the road. Free play of the day, Kansas City Chiefs minus six and a half. I'm seeing it bump to seven. Get on it. It's on my card, minus six and a half. Chiefs are currently the three seed, and I'm not sure that will change. But the, the way it's looking at Chiefs will remain uh, the three seed in the AFC, but the Texans are hot on the tail. Chiefs need to win. You know, uh, if things ended today, Chiefs would host the Steelers, I believe, in the wild card game. But Chiefs uh, do not seem like they're going to get the home field. Uh, Patriots just won yesterday. They clinched the AFC East. Ravens are balling. They can lock the one seed today. Uh, Chiefs still need to win because, you know, like Texans are hot on their tail. They just won again. They're 10-5 and five now. Chiefs need to win today. So on the other side, Bears are 7-7, seven and seven and they are done. Stick a fork in them. Put an axe in them. Their playoff hopes are gone. This is still an interesting matchup, though. Bears head coach is straight from the Chiefs, Matt Nagy. Matt Nagy owes his career. He'll tell you he owes his career to Andy Reid. They are very close. Andy Reid and Matt Nagy are very close. Uh, but that makes a very interesting matchup here tonight. These two guys really know each other very, very well. Inside and out, without a doubt. Andy Reid taught Matt Nagy. So uh, this should be a hard-fought battle. Another tale of offense versus defense. Chiefs rock out on offense. Bears are very good on defense. They're awesome on defense. So who will prevail here? The thing I really like here is the Chiefs play very well on the road. They actually have a better road record than a home record, and I do expect them to show up tonight. Win and cover here tonight. Bears are 2-8 and eight against the spread in their last 10 overall. Chiefs are a perfect 4-0 and oh in their la eight against the spread in their last four. I'm certain Chiefs will be a public favorite tonight. But public schmublick. How about that? You know, I'm going to take the Chiefs with confidence. I still tr I trust fully in Mahomes. We are seeing it. Uh, we aren't we aren't seeing it be as easy as it was last year for him, but I trust the kid. I trust Kelsey, Chiefs run game. They're, it's different than it was last year, but I trust in Mahomes. I trust in the Chiefs to win by a touchdown. Free play of the day, Chiefs minus six and a half. Go pick up the red alert. See what we're working with. We're going to hammer it. We're going to put money in all of our pockets tonight. And then Sunday, fun day, Ben Dog has five plays. Let's get it, baby. Good luck. God bless. Grind on. Cheers.